I was so excited to get to Arturo's in Maplewood, New Jersey, that I left my house without my primary camera. Luckily, I had a backup cam, but I could not connect my microphone to it. So I'm going with a different format, a little voiceover here, guys. When I opened that box, I was smitten by that beauty before me. People have been telling me, Antonio, go to Arturo's in Maplewood. It's kind of like Ratza. And so I was a little excited to hear that because, as you know, guys, I love Ratza. But I found this one to be a little more Neapolitan, even though it's larger than Ratza. It's a 16-inch pie. But the crust was a little closer to Neapolitan. But that being said, it still had its own character. I found the crunch a little higher than you'd find on a typical Neapolitan. The crust had some snap. Definitely a pizza that I would consider to have its own unique character. And I love that. I love finding different species of pizza. Beautiful pizza and a beautiful town, by the way. Maplewood is just absolutely gorgeous. You would think you're in some rural German suburb. The architecture, the Bavarian architecture, very nice quaint town with uh, lots of old shops and theaters, uh, unique uh, coffee shops, and I really had a good time taking a walk through there. Pizza, talking about a good time. If you're not typically into Neapolitan style pizza, I think you're gonna enjoy this pizza over here at Arturo's. It's got a little more crunch. The cheese is perfectly salty, perfectly salted. Good flavor on this pizza. I was thoroughly impressed even though I went with high expectations. Let's go into the lab. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do you say we move on into the lab and get a closer look where we explore it before we score it, folks? Arturo's here. I mean, look at this pizza. You know right away, if you know me, guys, this is right up my alley. This is my type of pizza. Wood-fired, large, 16 inches. You know, a lot of people may have some issues with these pizzas because they're light on... Uh, they're very light, period. End of story, light. Very light. Light, 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 light. That is the name of the game here when it comes to Arturo's here in Maplewood, New Jersey. Now, what I mean by light is not just the crust, nothing, uh, I don't just mean light as in uh, the crust being light and airy and bubbly and charred and look at that beauty. I mean light on toppings, light on cheese, light on sauce, guys. Patches of cheese here and there, nice bright olive oil. I get it, I'm digging it, but man, you gotta put a little more sauce on this thing. Here's another dry patch. Wow. You know, these pizzas burn at a high heat, those wood-fired ovens. It depends on the slice. I mean, you look at this slice here, folks. That one's a juicy one. That's a beautiful, juicy-looking pizza there. Look at that bright sauce, which was delicious, by the way. I absolutely loved that bright, fruity, naturally sweet tomato flavor from that tomato sauce. Nice and pulpy, the way I like it. Nice and runny. A lot of olive oil. Loved it. But then you look at, you know, you, get, you see, you look at this slice. And look at that slice. It's a little drier than the others. It's all just subjective here. Some people may not complain. Uh, I want a nice balanced pizza. Yeah, I love these Neapolitans or these artisanal pizzas. They're not as greasy. They're lighter. They, they tend to be made with great ingredients. Good fresh mozzarella cheese. You want it to be a little heavily topped. A little more sauce, please. Very airy, but a little tough on the chew. But I'm digging that, folks. You know how much I love some soot on the fingertips. Good soot going. I think the rots of dough, the rots of crust is a lot lighter. And look at that mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella, lots of moisture still left in that mozzarella. As you can see, guys, it's not a dry mozzarella. A lot of times, you may encounter some fresh mozz that isn't so fresh and uh, loses lots of moisture and becomes a hard piece of plastic after it cools down because there's just no moisture left in the mozzarella. Not the case here, folks. Lots of moisture left in that mozz. Very fresh indeed. As usual, when the pizza gets cold, I give it another fold and test the crust for its crunch. Does the crunch remain after cooling down? And sure enough, the pizza over here at El Toro's kind of remain nice and snappy even after cooling down. Some crunch remained. I really enjoyed the pizza, so much so, despite its flaws, that I give it 
an 8.2. I think it could have been a 9. I like that it's a larger pie than most Neapolitans, but uh, the chew was on the, you know, moderate side. It wasn't as light as, let's say, a Razza pizza, and it was a little undersauced, or it would have been a 9 for me. Well, that was it for me. I had a great time in Maplewood. Uh, I hope you guys had a great time watching. And uh, until next time, guys, if you can, hit that like. Smash that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. This is Antonio coming to you from Maplewood. Signing off.